Hello and welcome to Mayo Clinic. Um, you have either been referred here um, to Mayo Clinic for in further investigations and recommendations on management concerning a diagnosis of erythromyalgia or you've referred yourself and thank you for coming here for your um, health care to Mayo Clinic. I just wanted to go over, um, for those of you who are here for the diagnosis of erythromyalgia, the different tests that we're going to perform over the next few days and the different consultations that are going to occur and the reasoning behind them. And then um, at the end of those consultations and testing, we'll review your diagnosis and the best re um, management recommendations and treatment recommendations for that condition. But being, this being the very first day and you just having arrived here, I just wanted to review the rationale behind all the different things we're going to do. So erythromyalgia is a condition where people develop red, inter either intermittently or constantly red, hot, um, painful extremities. Um, it usually involves the feet, it may involve your hands. Sometimes it can involve extremities, believe it or not, such as the head and neck, so the ears and the nose may be involved, although that's quite rare. The diagnosis is made clinically. In other words, you would tell us that you get these intermittently red, hot um, extremities. Now, very frequently when we see you, um, you're, you don't have any symptoms at the time because since these symptoms are intermittent, they're not there when, we, when you actually come to Mayo Clinic and you might say they only happen the evening or they might happen in the morning. So it is very useful if you can bring a photograph of what they look like with you to any consultations that you'll be having. I just wanted to review what will happen now that you're here for this um, visit. The very first day, what, what you will usually have is a consultation with one of our erythromyalgia care team and that might be um, the, one of the physicians that are interested in this disorder or one of our physician assistants and we'll ask you to fill out a questionnaire about your symptoms which are quite specific for this diagnosis. And the reason that we meet with you first um, to determine whether we're going to go ahead with the battery of tests is that there's a lots of other conditions that can imitate erythromyalgia and we want to make sure that we don't um, order unnecessary tests if we feel that the diagnosis is not correct based on speaking to you. Um, so we might um, consider um, revising the testing that we've ordered. The other reason that we perform um, testing is to make sure um, or to double check that you don't have any of the common conditions that underlie the diagnosis of erythromyalgia such as um, um, blood disorders or nerve problems and neuropathies and that sort of thing um, because they'll help us with how we manage the erythromyalgia. So two main reasons for doing all these battery of tests. First of all, to, and, and meeting with you, first of all to make sure that it definitely is erythromyalgia that you have and secondly to make sure that we identify any conditions that may underlie the diagnosis and lastly, the reason that we do all this battery of tests is just to confirm and document what exactly happens to you during your symptoms. After we've met with you and discussed um, um, things with you is to order a battery of blood tests. And let me just go over a couple of those blood tests um, that we do. First of all, we do a complete blood count. Um, the reason for that is that sometimes the blood count can be abnormal in patients with erythromyalgia. It's quite rare that it happens but um, it's certainly a very well recognized entity and you can have um, um, conditions with, for instance with too many red cells, too many white cells or too many platelets underlie this diagnosis and if we do find that that underlies it we may have to look into that further. The other thing is that, uh, that, that um, patients who have erythromyalgia with that underlying blood disorder often respond to different medications than other patients without that disorder. Then we look at a whole battery of other blood tests um, because that will help us guide your different treatments, um, 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 for instance your blood electrolytes, etc. We do um, um, a blood test called alpha, alpha galactosidase A because um, patients with a deficiency in that enzyme often present with sporadically very painful um, um, extremities which may imitate erythromyalgia. So that's the reason behind doing all these different blood tests. So apart from the blood tests, what else do we order? Well, we order vascular studies. 
Now, um, again, a couple of reasons for ordering the vascular studies. First of all, to make sure that we are able to document what happens during your erythromyalgia. And secondly, to make sure that you don't have um, peripheral arterial disease or venous disease that underlies this disorder, which can imitate imitate erythromyalgia. So what we do usually is we order two sets of vascular tests where um, you're sent down and they measure the blood flow to your, hand, to your feet and maybe your hands if you have symptoms in your hands, um, both at rest when you don't have the symptoms and then we repeat all those tests when you do have the symptoms. And the specific things that we measure are the, the blood flow as measured by laser Doppler flow um, and then we compare it with symptoms and without symptoms. We order um, um, transcutaneous oximetry measurements, which are actually measuring the oxygen in your, in, in your skin during these symptoms. And these will help um, just tell us exactly what's happening. Now, some patients t tell us that you know, they don't actually get an episode of erythromyalgia where their feet or hands flush uh, red and hot while they're here. And that's okay, but it's nicer if we can document your red hot hands and feet during your visit and actually measure the blood flow in those areas during, during symptoms just to document what's happening. The last thing that we order is a whole series of testing looking at the nerves in your peripheries, the, are the peripheral nerves. And the reason for that is that um, uh, very frequently with erythromyalgia, uh, what they call a neuropathy or abnormality of the peripheral nerves in your arms and legs may be identifiable. That can be either the large nerves or the small nerves. So we have a whole battery of tests that we do for that. Why do we do such detailed testing? Well, we're quite convinced from our experience and from our publications um, that um, up to 80 to 90 percent of patients with erythromyalgia may have an underlying neuropathy. Now, um, it's important to identify that because that will guide us as to what specific medications might work for your erythromyalgia. So if you, we can identify that you have an underlying neuropathy, it may be the neuropathy that's causing the most pain and we therefore use the medications that are directed to neuropathy in order to treat you in the long run. So what neurologic tests do we perform? Well, we, co we perform what's called an electromyogram, which is a, an EMG for short, and nerve conduction studies. And basically what happens is um, um, the tester will stimulate the nerves in your arms or legs and then measure, um, measure the reaction further down your arms and legs, just to make sure your nerves are working correctly in those areas. It's, that's just putting it very simplistically and you'll get more details when you go for the actual test. We also measure the functioning of your small fibers um, in your skin very specifically. So we have a battery of tests that we do for that. One, um, two of the tests involve testing your sweating. One in very particular area, that's called um, a, a QSART test where we actually stimulate your skin in one area and then measure the sweat output in an in adjacent area of the skin. It's quite a complex test, but it really tells us whether you're sweating normally, which is a marker of whether you have a small fiber neuropathy or not. We also do um, 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 a test where we actually dust your entire body with a, um, a specific color um, talc powder, basically and um, then put you in a sweat box, um, which is specially designed for the purpose, and heat you up so that you actually do sweat. Um, and so, and um, if you don't sweat, then the, di the talcum powder doesn't change color. If you do sweat, then the talcum powder changes color, and we can uh, identify what exact areas of your body are sweating or not. And that really tells us whether you have an underlying nerve problem, specifically a neuropathy going on. And we do a few other tests specifically measuring the sensation in your skin, very detailed and, and exacting test that has been developed here at Mayo Clinic. And we also, in, you may, d may have a skin biopsy to actually look at the density of small fibers in your skin. Now, any one of you may have all of the above tests or, some, uh, or you may just have one or two of these tests. It would really depend on your clinical presentation when we first meet with you as to what we feel is, is necessary. Um, as regards consultations, um, most of the time you'll just see um, us in, in dermatology. And if we feel it appropriate, 
you may see as a neurologist who specializes in this area and you may see a vascular medicine specialist who specializes in this area and there's also a possibility that you meet with one of our um, pain rehabilitation consultants or pain rehabilitation team. The reason for this is that as many of you will know and um, the when patients have um, or when you have very hot red legs that can be extremely painful and um, the pain can be such that it really alters the way you live and, the, and how you deal with life in general. Going to work, um, socializing, leaving the house, going grocery shopping, etc. And sometimes learning from a pain rehabilitation specialist about living with that pain and tips about um, how you can live a more normal life can be very, very helpful. And that's why we often get you to meet with those um, with the pain rehabilitation specialists. So to summarize then, you've come to us for, with a, an outside diagnosis of erythromyalgia and we want to confirm or refute that that's whether that's your definite diagnosis or not. We want to make sure that that is your definite diagnosis. We want to make sure that we've identified any underlying diseases. Um, we want to make sure we've ruled out other diseases and that's why we do this battery of tests and that battery of tests again includes blood tests, it includes testing of your uh, vascular supply to your limbs, that's looking at the um, blood flow in your upper and lower extremities and then also looking at the nerve supply to your upper and lower extremities because that's often what's abnormal in erythromyalgia. Um, and as regards consultations, generally we will just see you in dermatology because we have a lot of experience seeing patients with erythromyalgia. But on occasion, depending on the circumstance, we may also get you to meet with a specialist in vascular medicine, in neurology, either large or small fiber neuropathy neurologist who specializes in those areas. Um, and we may get you to meet with our pain rehabilitation colleagues who can be very helpful. So that's just a summation of the testing that you may or may not have, um, depending on, on what we feel when we meet with you originally um, um, in investigation of your erythromyalgia. And at completion of those in evaluations, what we're going to do is we'll meet with you again in a similar circumstance. And if your diagnosis of erythromyalgia is confirmed, I'll just review the different treatment interventions that we might recommend and the different strategies that we, we may recommend to you. So I hope this is of help to you. Feel free to discuss this with um, around the room um, with your with the other people that you've met, um, and um, and we'll visit again at completion of your investigations. Thank you very much.